HBO Advance Notice presents Britt Robertson, Scott Eastwood, and author Nicholas Sparks with an exclusive sneak peek at their new movie, The Longest Ride. It's a dual love story, and Luke and Sophia, they very, come from very different worlds. Uh, Scott is a professional bull rider. Britt plays Sophia. She's studying art. She lives in a sorority. Keep it. There's no real training to ride a bull besides actually riding a bull. I grew up uh, sort of going to rodeos, so I was familiar with it. You can only touch with your riding hand. Their relationship within this film really explores how do you make something like this work? We come from such a world, but I've never felt this way about anybody. And everybody gets that. You did. Our characters, Sophie and Luke, meet Alan Alda's character after we come back from our first date together, and we see a car off the side of the road. Luke rescues him, and I see a, a box of letters, letters that he had written to his wife. He starts to tell us the story of, of his love for Ruth. I haven't been able to read these for years. You want me to read them to you? April 10th, 1940. I'll remember that dress you wore even when I've forgotten my own name. To me, the balance between these two stories is just a way to say that everyone's love story is unique and wonderful. Love requires sacrifice, always. My sister wants to go see the movie with her boyfriend, which is going to be so bizarre. <laughs> so um, I, I'm going to give her some warning signs. Do you think she doesn't know there's a love scene in this movie? Really? She doesn't know how crazy it gets. Well, my friends will, will never stop giving me shit. And they're already <laughs> throwing me a hat and going, hey, Scott. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're a pretty rough crowd. And now, an exclusive scene from the longest ride. I know how hard it must be to give up that whole part of your life. You're kidding, right? Sophia. You heard the doctors. Doctors don't know everything. Are you crazy? I watched what happened to you on YouTube. You were in a coma for 10 days. I told you, every time a rider gets in that chute, he could die. That's bullshit. Your situation is different. I can't. Well, I can't be with someone if every time they walk out the door, I don't know if I'm going to see them again. Then that's your choice. Yeah, I chose you. I chose you over New York. Over my internship. I chose you over everything. Well, I didn't ask you to change your life. You can't expect me to change mine. This is what I do. It's all I know. It was a scene that you wanted to get exactly right because it's a pivotal moment in the film. Yeah. And there were a lot of takes. Uh, uh, tensions were high. Tensions like were high. one of the last yeah. scenes we shot, too. It, it worked. Yeah. There's a good push and pull between Scott and I. I do a lot of the pushing. <laughs> <laughs> just a lot of sisters. You know, just roll Not with the punches. Not in smile. <laughs>